Hey everyone, how you doing? Today's video, I decided I really want to film a vlog for a day in my life as a content creator, what I do, how I do it, and basically show you guys how Riley and I run our business together and run, you know, content together. I got a little bit of a late start to my morning. It's late, I know, it's late start. It's 11, almost 11, 11, my angel number. Um, I had a therapy call this morning and I honestly slept a little bit late and just was taking an easy start to my morning so I'm now just about to get ready for the day usually we're up a lot earlier and up and at them like usually by nine is our rule and I'm just chilling right now in Riley's office and he sprained his wrist yesterday with playing soccer. Poor Ting, what are you doing right now? We just sent some files, but you're done. Now we do the memory card shuffle. We were sending some files to my editor yesterday. We, we filmed, filmed a secret video yesterday. It's not a secret. It just sounds cool to say that. <laughs> we filmed an Amazon Fall Essentials. I haven't had two cups of coffee in probably two months. You're having two cups right now? This is number two. Wow, honey. Mm -hmm. That doesn't give you heart palpitations? No, it's like a half, half strength. I don't know, I, I'd be like in the hospital with two cups of coffee. Our mornings are usually pretty chill. I like to clean, I like to get some stuff done. Obviously have breakfast today. Oh, bitch. I'm gonna make myself a bagel with cream cheese. I love it, I love it so much. I gotta get ready for a Zoom today and I'm gonna film for YouTube. I actually wanna film my pumpkin bread recipe. So yeah, let's get our day started then, shall we? If you guys are a bagel fan like me, I highly suggest Freezing fresh bagels. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So inside my freezer, we order from this place in LA. I usually have like friends and family mail me bagels from New York and then I freeze them. But if you're from New York, you get it. The bagels are just better there. So I take a paper towel, grab my desired bagel, and I wrap it like this all around. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave so that it's soft enough for us to cut. Don't mind the microwave, it's a little toity. I usually do for like 30 seconds. A few moments later. So now it is nice and soft and I can cut it. I have the most ridiculously bougie toaster oven ever because I'm impulsive and saw my friend John post about it and I needed to get it so <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And you just switch it over to bagel. Tap this. I'm gonna go six. I like my bagels a little bit on the burnt side. And look at that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so usually what I like to do now that my bagel is done, I will look at my planner and kind of make a plan for the day while I eat. A lot of people fill out their planners in advance. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I benefit from a schedule and sometimes I'm very impulsive. So I try to like find a happy medium and I plan my day for the day as it happens. And it feels good to kind of like cross stuff off the list. Also, a weird thing I like to do is put everything bagel seasoning on the cream cheese of my everything bagel bagel. What were you calling it, Riley? Too much. <laughs> you didn't even eat everything. Now you, I know, now I can't get enough. All you do is eat the seasoning. <laughs> it's not even a bagel. There's cream cheese on it. You can see. The way I like to do my calendars in advance is something like this. And I really love to use stickers. So now we're just going to come up for our Wednesday. And today I know I have to get ready. This is an event sticker I had made for a Zoom at 2 p.m. And then I know I am gonna want to film a YouTube video with bread making. And I'm also taking another sticker because we are also filming a day in the life. 
I also know I need to do my makeup, so I am gonna say as I film my makeup, I want to do a TikTok of sorts. So I'll write that down. And then later today, I want to try to get photos. So I'll just put down photos for IG. So yeah, that's pretty much how I look at it. My handwriting is a little bit messy because of like me writing on the rings here. It's really easy and I love stickers, so. For Thursday, I already know what I wanna do. So it's gonna be a whole day dedicated to doing Halloween things and I'm gonna film it for you guys. So I am just going to put the YouTube film and I'm gonna go draw an arrow down all day. That's usually my symbol that I do of like, I'm filming all day and it's gonna be Halloween themed. So I'll write it down here, all Halloween. For Friday, I have a brand deal I know I have to do with BoxyCharm and it's a Facebook Live. So I'm just gonna write BoxyCharm Facebook Live and I'm still waiting for the time. So I'll leave it open, but this is pretty much what my schedule looks like. And yeah, I can definitely add more whenever I want, but this is pretty much how I like to do it. And for those of you wondering, my planner is from Kendra Scott. I usually get them every year from her website. So now I think it's time I wanna get ready, get ready for the Zoom, and I need a shower. My hair is so greasy. It's like at that point where if you move it, it'll stay in that one direction, you know? I got about an hour and a half to get ready, so I gotta get moving fast. Uh, yeah, let's hop in the shower. Here she is, freshly out of the shower. I am going with curls today because they are the easiest and I put some heat on my hair last week so I kind of like give my hair a week of heat a week off of heat you know what I'm saying let's do a little bit of skincare prep before we do our makeup so I already washed my face and I used the fresh beauty soy cleanser what I like to do before makeup is really more than anything just hydrate because I have really really dry skin so I'm gonna go ahead and now go in with this Fresh Beauty oil. This is the Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. And you have to shake it before you use it, otherwise it doesn't really like work. The oil separates. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over. We have about 30-ish minutes to get ready for the Zoom, which I think is enough because I'm not gonna go like crazy with my makeup today. Now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Skin Under Eye Cream. This is the Flash Nap Instant Revival. I always feel like my under eyes are a really big insecurity of mine. This I notice it does a really great job at just like waking up the under eye. The last step I'm gonna use is the Murad Hydration Intense Recovery Cream. I am almost about to run out of this and it's kind of making me nervous. This cream has really changed my skin like crazy. It's really, really rich and supple, so if you have oily skin, this probably wouldn't be a great match for you. All right, let's head out to my beauty room now and do my makeup and prep for this Zoom. I don't know if any of you guys know this, but my beauty room is actually separate from my house. My little helper today. He is solar powered, I swear to you. You'll have to forgive me because it truly is a mess. You're not getting a full preview today. You're just getting the floor because of how messy it is. This is where Mo likes to sleep. And this is my atrocious, atrocious desk. But in my defense, I am very lucky that I get sent a lot, a lot of products. However, I don't feel like I have enough space for all of it. And you know, also just dealing with my anxiety and depression, simple tasks like cleaning can be so freaking difficult for me. I've never had a problem with cleaning until I hit like 25. And then that's when my brain was like, nope, depression. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna get ready now and see what we can do. I gotta call Moe in too because I don't trust him. He is the sketchiest of all sketchy boys that you will ever know. I have acquired the specimen. Okay, so my Zoom today is for a new brand and it's actually the owner, Wendy, of Urban Decay. She is creating a new brand called Cali Ray and that's what the Zoom is about today. It's mascara and eye pencils. I don't like being late. It's like the biggest, I think it's rude. I really don't like being late. So I have 20 minutes 
to do my makeup and do a TikTok because I like to have like 10 minutes of a buffer zone. I'm trying to think of what TikTok I want to do. I also really want to post on Instagram today, so I have to remember to do that. Sometimes for me, if I post after like 3 or 4 p.m., it doesn't do well. I don't know. Instagram is a dying app, I'm honestly telling you. Yeah, let's do a color correcting hack. I always make sure, I don't know why I'm like this, because it's not even really an insecurity of mine anymore because my eyebrows have grown so much. But whenever I do a TikTok or a YouTube video, whatever it may be, I always like to have my brows done first. I'm going in with the Kosas Air Brow. This is in the shade Dark Brown. I gave my eyebrows a trim yesterday because my eyebrows are super curly. They're looking good. And I love the laminated look, which is something you guys know already. So I'm going in with the NYX Brow Glue and I'm just gonna start gluing my brows down. It's not actually glue, you guys, it's really good. I keep saying it's like a dupe for the ABH Brow Freeze. It looks really, really good. All right, let's get to our TikTok. I use this stand and it's amazing, actually. I got it off of Amazon, I'll link it down below if any of you guys are content creators that watch me or wanna get into it or even just run your own small business. This is like, Top notch, I love it. I always, when I do a TikTok, I always make it three minutes because I never know how long I'm gonna actually talk. And sometimes I can be like a chatterbox. Back in the day, you may have known me for my crazy contouring and color correcting hacks. Now, I'm gonna pull up an image. So half of my face is done and you can see that the color is pretty much gone now. And I'm gonna go in and blend. I have 10 minutes left before the Zoom and I'm almost done. We did it! We got our makeup done for the Zoom and I managed to film a TikTok. <laughs> Triple high five. All right, so we're just waiting for the Zoom to start. I'm freaking early and on time. We are done with my Zoom and now I'm gonna head inside the house. Almost, you wanna go? You ready to go, honey? Now I wanna get some Instagram and TikTok content. I know I filmed a little quick TikTok earlier. When I'm feeling good and feeling like I wanna create, I always take advantage of it because it's not something that happens every day. And if you're a creative person, if you have a side hustle that's creative, if your business is creative, whatever it may be, you know that it's sometimes really hard to always be creative. So we're gonna do this little TikTok trend with pumpkins. We got Cedar, this is Emily's dog. He is a cutie pie. We are gonna do the viral TikTok pumpkin head challenge. I have my pumpkin heads here and Riley's sister Emily is gonna help me carve. I've never carved a pumpkin before so this should be really interesting. I'll have to turn my volume down. Basically, they start carving their pumpkins big enough so that they can fit on their heads and then they go and do a photo shoot. This was like the one they did last year with like ghosts. So Emily and I, Riley's sister, are gonna do this today. We're gonna get some sleigh shots and we're gonna make some cute pumpkins. We are searching right now pumpkin face ideas on Pinterest. All right, so we are drawing first before we actually cut because I feel like that's just a better plan. I can at least make my mistakes before I make my mistakes. Exactly. Okay, Mo. I'm gonna go do those eyes. We could totally do the same eyes too, so don't feel like, you know. We can have matching lashes. Okay, I wanna do the nose like really tiny and cute. Like a little button. <laughs> Look at our, we have a guest in the house, everyone. Here is our guest, Mr. Pumpkin himself. It's Mr. Jack. Lantern. It's Mr. Jack O. Oh, is there like a dog pun there? Poots a lantern. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's get to carving. Okay, so this is my pumpkin design with some eyelashes and Emily's as well with her fangs and, fangs. and lashes. Fangs and lashes. Lash inspo by Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> These are Lily Lashes, use code <laughs> NICOL at the checkout. Oh my god, guys, I got my pumpkin head off. Or, I mean, <laughs> his ass off. Who has the ass off? Whoa, you guys. Dang. It's butt is out. Look at all those seeds. Wow, it's like a very interesting texture. Yeah. Oh, look at yours. Whoa. Oh Whoa, 
Oh, look at it, it's got Get inside. Whoa, that that's gnarly. insane. Oh man, the seeds. How do you do? You just like cut, mm -hmm. like yeah, you can just scoop. You should grab like big Holy spoons. crap, I love pumpkin seeds. Everybody always says Thank like you. Aries is the messiest sign. I'm telling you right now, there is no sign messier than a Sagittarius. I think you're just extremely messy. <laughs> no, honey, I have no Aries placements so and so. I'm totally the messiest person yeah, I know. I, I'm pretty messy. Do with Aries. That has to yeah, do but, with messy but Sally. No. Mary over here. You don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm you don't know, I'm saying Riley. you're not ruled by Aries. <laughs> Correct, I'm not ruled by Aries. Or Sagittarius. No, I am ruled by Sagittarius. I'm ruled by the moon, too. If you too. were ru ruled by Sagittarius, you'd be cleaner then. No, that's not true. Sag is the messiest, one of the like top five messiest. What's number one messiest? I think it's Aries. Where's Leo fall on that? You know, I don't know. I'll look it up. You guys both need some lessons. On what? Okay, it's Mr. Perfect. How about I hold the camera and you get over here then? Okay, we're pretty much like 90% done with the insides and almost can start carving the actual pumpkin. Ooh. Three hours later. Are there any first time pumpkin carvers out there like myself or have y'all been doing it forever and I'm just the out the weirdo <laughs> that hasn't? I can't believe this is your first time carving pumpkins. I know. I've never even seen what the inside looks like. What did we do with all those pumpkins that we did that we got at the bones patch last? I night? just put them out in my front yard, like in the front. Gotcha. I didn't like do anything with them. We have pretty much hollowed out the bottom, and now we're gonna check and see if it. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my god! That's amazing. Is it too small? It's cute. Does it, how's it feel? Does it feel tight? A little. You got too tiny of a pumpkin. We can make it work. We can gut it a little more. All right, so now we're gonna continue carving, I guess. This is harder than it looks, y'all. My first chunk! What do you think about pumpkin carving? I actually really like it. I could see how this could be really therapeutic, but I'm also so clumsy. I could also see how it could be a trip to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? It could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> Getting all your anger out. <sighs> I was just gonna say, carving pumpkins feel so aggressive. It does. I'm like, Nyeh. So these are our pumpkins, and now we're gonna head on over to our neighbor's house and do a little photo shoot. Picks. <laughs> All right, so we just finished the photo shoot. Pumpkin in our hair, don't care. <laughs> I can't wait to see how these pics come out, you guys. I think they came out really good. Good job, Riles. All right, now we gotta go home because Riley's getting a haircut. And I have some pumpkin bread to make. <laughs> oh my God. And pumpkin seeds. And pumpkin seeds. seeds. So we are taking a break from doing some content and Riley is getting a haircut. I wanna show you guys the before because you got some crazy hair. Honey, what do you have to say for yourself? Help me. <laughs> Here's the before. Hey! Feels so light. <laughs> it looks so good. I love it. So now that Riley's done with his haircut, we're gonna go ahead and film a separate YouTube video of me making my banana bread and also pumpkin seeds. So I'm excited to do that and I'm just kind of cleaning and prepping the kitchen. My favorite cleaner that I use is actually this Myers cleaner. I'm obsessed with it. I also like that it's non-toxic and it's, it's aromatherapy. Okay, I got my setup going. We're about to make some bread. Hey y'all, I'm checking back in. I'm now making the frosting for our bread. What are you doing, honey? Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> you look very excited. I do love pumpkin bread. How are you feeling with your new- one of life's greatest pleasures. How are you feeling with your new haircut? Well, the wafer, I feel Is good. The wafer's good? I can move really quick through the air. It looks really nice. We're in the middle of the pumpkin seed portion. Got the cuts. Damn, guys, it is 
17. We've been going all day. All right, you guys, so I have finished my content for the day. It is 9.26, so we had a pretty full jam-packed day of content. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life with me. Let me know if you want me to do more of these because I definitely have a lot of stuff that always goes on and I like doing these vlog style videos for you guys. I feel like we get to connect on a deeper level. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for hanging. Bye. Thank you.